This is how the citations come. George Worrell opens letter after letter. So this is $150. This is from 2022. I just opened it. Citations for speeding in the city of South Fulton. Well, if I dug through all of this, I promise you I probably could find like 15, 20 more of these. I would say I've gotten at least maybe 40. 40? 40. The tickets aren't from South Fulton's police department, but a private company called Blue Line Solutions, based hundreds of miles away in Tennessee, which operates these speed detection cameras in this city's school zones. And before you know it, you're caught. Since 2019, he's paid thousands of dollars in camera citations, civil penalties which do not impact driver's licenses or insurance, the local pastor and father of two confesses he's likely guilty of speeding for some, but not all. I, I understand the, the balance of children's safety, but I believe we got to find like an equilibrium or a symmetry with child safety and not exploiting taxpaying citizens. According to city records, South Fulton drivers pay $21 million in camera fines, more than any municipality in the state. The city's contract with Blue Line shows the company receives 35%. According to that math, the camera operator collected $7 million. Atlanta News First Investigates asked Blue Line about our analysis but it did not respond. Hey, how you doing, sir? How's it going? Good. Keith Meadows is the city's police chief who advocated for the cameras. He points to this traffic study that shows since the cameras were installed in 2019, the number of speeding vehicles in school zones has dropped more than 90%. While citations have decreased, the city still collects on average hundreds of thousands of dollars in citation revenue a month. But at the end of the day, we believe that um, it's resulted in our school zones being a much safer place. Who conducted the traffic study showing the dramatic drop in speeding? Blue Line Solutions. No one accuses it of altering numbers, but Blue Line is the same camera company that stands to financially benefit by continuing to operate in this city. Is that appropriate? Should the city be doing its own traffic study? I don't have an issue with the city doing our own study, but at the end of the day, we, LIDAR has been determined to be the most effective uh, technology that exists um, when it comes to speeding. Technology that isn't foolproof, like the city of Jonesboro, which works with Red Speed, another camera operator. It refunded drivers $76,000 after the camera issued tickets for the wrong speed limit. Barrow County officials refunded drivers $721,000 after posting a school zone speed limit sign in the wrong location. And Blue Line Solutions now faces a class action lawsuit alleging it collects unauthorized revenue and excessive processing fees. Blue Line filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit claiming the litigation should be focused on municipalities that employ it to enforce traffic laws. It, it's, it's a cash cow. State Representative Dewey McLean supports banning the cameras or reforming the 2018 law that gives cities the authority to use the cameras. So we've got, we as legislators got to do a better job. We, we need to regulate this to say exactly when and why and how. When lawmakers approve the legislation, McCain says it was pitched to protect children. According to the National Highway Safety Administration, pedestrian fatalities in Georgia have steadily increased since the cameras were installed. The number of school-aged children deaths nearly unchanged. Since lawmakers approved the cameras, Atlanta News First investigates uncovered Georgia municipalities have collected more than $112 million in revenue from the cameras. Yes, I voted for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Hook, line, and sinker. Now, five years later, I thought, look at the, the data and statistics and, and things of that nature. I, I wonder. I've heard some state legislators talk about getting rid of the school cameras. Well, what's the alternative? Hiring police officers and... 16 police officers in every school zones. Then the narrative is going to be um, they're running speed traps in South Fulton. Well, they're already saying that now with the cameras. Right. All three of my vehicles have been 
affected by these speed trap citations. Private industry enforcing the law on behalf of police, some believe is too heavy handed. Now we're at a point now the people, the citizens, are like, okay, this, this, is, this is enough. <laughs>